Let's now shift our attention over to South Korea. The country's fertility rate has slid four times compared to the 1970s. The country's plunging population has now led to a demographic crisis. Let's also take you to a South Korean village that is full of aging population, but children are scarce. Meet Liu Chan He. He is one of the last children on a remote island of South Korea. Chan He has a wish. He wants more friends to play with. The 10 year old has two sisters and a friend, all three younger. Seoul is so crowded, noisy, and the air is not good. However, Nokdo has no traffic. It is in noisy and the air is clean. I can play outside more actively, so I like it here. It would be great if I have more friends here because I can have more options to play. Here's the problem. Chanhee's village of Nokdo Island is rapidly depopulating. Nokdo is emblematic of a demographic crisis. South Korea. Asia's fourth largest economy's population dropped for the first time last year. According to the World Bank, South Korea became the world's fastest aging society with the lowest birth rate in 2020. According to the World Bank, the nation's fertility rate slid to just 0.84 in 2020 from 4.5 in 1970. This, as South Korea's economy touched new heights in the 1970s. The country became home to world-class manufacturers such as Samsung Electronics and Hyundai Motor. And along with the economic rise, more women began to enter the workforce. Family planning campaigns also took effect in the 70s and 80s. One of Nogdo's last hundred residents recalls past memories. A time when vasectomies were done to curb the population growth. When we went for military training, some of us used to undergo vasectomy to curb population growth. Some got their wives to get it done. For peaceful places like Nokto, education is also a challenge. Learning facilities are restricted to a single makeshift mini classroom. A teacher is dispatched from the mainland. I am not sure how the middle school issue will be solved. The best option is finding a way to provide the middle school education to Chan He from here. But if impossible, I am also considering homeschooling. Half of South Korea's 51 million population live in Seoul's metropolitan area. And soaring home prices in the locality have been blamed for fewer babies. Moreover, the coronavirus pandemic has discouraged couples from marrying and having babies. Bureau report, We On, World is One. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now, get all the news on the move.